Hi, I'm Mariam Ghani, and I'm an artist, writer, and filmmaker. And at the moment, I'm working on a film called Disease, which is about illness and metaphors, basically how we talk and think and look at diseases affects how we treat people who are sick. So because of this, I've had three questions that are very much on my mind and even more so uh, since the beginning of this pandemic, because I was already working on this particular film for about two years before COVID-19 began. In the course of researching the film Disease, I began to notice that one of the things that the metaphor, the war on disease was doing in the world was um, causing the responsibility for pandemic preparedness and response to gradually be transferred from public health agencies to national security agencies. And this was creating a really, uh, I think, problematic paradigm for pandemic preparedness and response to become more and more dominant, which is this um, bioterrorism, biosecurity paradigm uh, for, for pandemic preparedness and pandemic response. Um, and uh, this was something I became really curious about, like how, how did this happen? Why did it become so dominant? And you know, what role did it play in um, the, as we now know, really not so great um, response to and preparedness for the pandemic that we are now currently um, going through. One of the other central questions of this film really emerged as the gap between the current scientific understanding of uh, infectious diseases and the cultural imaginary around those diseases, which appears to really be stuck back in the 19th century at the moment of the emergence of germ theory and um, the discovery of the typical bacillus by Robert Koch. So, you know, that question for me really is why why is it lagging so far behind? Why is our, our kind of cultural and pop cultural thinking or, or image of disease really so much this, this idea of like an invisible enemy or an alien invasion or a, a kind of, you know, terrible contagious infection that, that is very different from the way that science now understands um, these infectious diseases. Um, w why is that gap so enormous? Um, and again, what does that do in the world? So as a result of my thinking around the first two questions I posed to you, I ended up with a third question, which is what if it weren't a war on disease? What kind of new metaphors could we find to talk about disease, to think about disease? Um, to put out into uh, the cultural imaginary or the pop cultural imaginary to bring cultural discourse around disease into line with scientific thinking around disease. Um, how could public health be reimagined, for example, around coexistence with diseases with each other and with other species? And, you know, how might that help us to really think through questions around structural inequity in public health and around the intersection of climate change with um, the emergence and re-emergence of infectious diseases. So what I would love to hear from all of you is your own thoughts around these questions and in particular, you know, how you might help to think through, you know, this question of where this gap comes from between cultural discourse and scientific discourse and actually how to close that gap, um, how to communicate new scientific ideas through really powerful new metaphors, um, how, to, how to create these new metaphors and um, really to think through this question of like, what if it weren't a war? What would it be? Uh, I would love to get your ideas on that. And um, I would love to include them in the film, even if, uh, if they're exciting and, and powerful new ideas.